إذا زلزلت الأرض زلزالها وأخرجت الأرض أثقالها وقال الإنسان ما لها يومئذ تحدث أخبارها بأن ربك أوحى لها well, scientists say seismic activity has decreased in southwest Iceland, where hundreds of people have had to leave their homes over fears over a volcanic eruption. Reports from scientists in Iceland suggest the imminent eruption of a significant volcano. However, there is a growing sense of hope that this eruption might not threaten a town located 40 miles southwest of the capital city. Presently, uncertainty and fear prevail worldwide as attention focuses on the potential danger in Iceland. Scientists have warned of an impending volcanic eruption that could cause extensive destruction, causing concern across the globe. The seismic activities have forced many villagers to evacuate their homes, leaving them anxious about the nature of the imminent eruption, its potential fatality, and whether it is indicative of the last day. Join us in this video as we explore the Icelandic volcanic eruption, exploring it in light of the Holy Al-Quran and Hadith. Over the past three weeks, a profound change has swept across Iceland, bringing a significant dilemma for its residents. Experts have issued warnings indicating the imminent eruption of a massive volcano in the Reykjan Peninsula. The Icelandic Meteorological Office, responsible for monitoring volcanic activities in the Reykjan Peninsula, directly conveyed this alarming information. This unsettling revelation has not only stirred residents, but has also kept them on high alert for several weeks. The situation has become more distressing as the Earth itself issues warnings, including unsettling earthquakes that have bewildered many. The coastal town of Grindvik in southwestern Iceland on the Reykjan Peninsula is particularly affected. Home to nearly 4,000 people, the town now lies empty as its residents have been successfully evacuated with little hope of immediate return. Even their properties are being gradually relocated to prevent destruction. The severity of fear and uncertainty surrounding this imminent volcanic eruption stems from the understanding that volcanic eruptions, regardless of magnitude, are natural disasters of grave concern. These eruptions occurs when magma, gas, and ash escape from beneath the Earth's crust through a volcano, causing explosive or effusive activities like lava flows, ash clouds, and pyroclastic flows. In times of uncertainty and fear, seeking guidance from Islamic teachings becomes crucial. Al-Quran and Hadith provide wisdom and solace. Surah Al-Baqarah لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها لها ما كسبت وعليها ما اكتسبت ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا أو أخطأنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إسرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين Allah does not burden any human being with a responsibility heavier than he can bear, reassuring believers that they will not face burdens beyond their capacity. Moreover, there's a hadith narrated by Anas ibn Malik radiallahu anh, O Messenger of Allah, shall I tie it and rely on Allah or leave it loose and rely upon Allah? Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, replied, tie it and rely upon Allah. This hadith emphasized the importance of taking practical measures while entrusting oneself to Allah's wisdom. The residents of Grindvik evacuating their homes for safety showcase the value of life and the significance of precautionary measures against potential harm. 
Returning to the situation in Iceland, the impending eruption is evaluated using the Volcanic Explosivity Index, VEI. Considering factors like eruption cloud height, erupted material volume, and duration. It is projected that the eruption in the Reykjan Peninsula might fall under a VEI of 4, a serious but not unprecedented level. In a historical context, the devastating eruption of Mount Pelé in 1902 serves as a reminder of the destructive power of volcanic eruptions. This catastrophe claimed approximately 30,000 lives, emphasizing the need for careful consideration and preparation in the face of such natural disasters. In response to the imminent threat, Icelandic authorities are implementing measures to safeguard the affected region. A notable plan involves using water to cool down and divert lava flows, as reported by The Guardian. This innovative approach, while theoretical, aligns with Islamic principles of seeking solutions through available means. As believers, offering prayers for the safety and well-being of those affected by potential disasters is essential. Are volcanoes signs of the last hour? The Quran describes mountains and volcanic eruptions in Surah al qariyah when the mountains would be made as light as puffed cotton, illustrating a scenario of Kiyama, Day of Judgment. This verse signifies that volcanic eruptions, among other natural phenomena, will occur before the last day. Volcanic eruptions displaying the immense power of Earth are considered precursors to the events of Kiyama. If a volcanic eruption can bring such devastation to Earth, imagine the impact of the last day when everything will perish. At that testing time, Momenin would profit neither from Earth nor from the sky. During a volcanic eruption, molten rocks in the form of lava gush out from the crater along with the ash. In other words, what was buried under the crust of Earth comes out on the surface with great force. The force of ashes, which was locked up under the Earth, forms clouds and showers on the land. The unexposed gets exposed. Volcanoes have ravaged the Earth since ages. It is a continuous process by which the constituents of Earth's crust keep on changing from time to time. Earth and its atmosphere is the foundation of life. Only Allah knows the secret behind its changes. The Earth absorbs you after you die. Earth is enough for us in everything. It is the blessing of Allah. Allah has showered His infinite blessings through the Earth. Thus, respect the Earth. Earth can bear violence to some extent, but when it becomes unbearable, it creates havoc for everyone residing on its back. Considering these signs of Allah, it is advisable to lead our lives honestly and let others live with tranquility. The likes of such a phenomenon should remind us of a much terrible one yet to occur. The earthquake of the hour. Sunlight was blocked by the ash cloud, and something similar will happen on the last day. The ash cloud that traveled thousands of feet into the air serves as a reminder to a cloud of smoke Allah will send prior to the last day. Then watch for the day when the sky will bring visible smoke. Covering the people, this is a painful torment. Reflecting on the events in Iceland prompts contemplation on the delicate balance between nature's forces and humanity's resilience. Through faith, preparedness, and reliance on Allah, we hope for the safety and protection of all those affected by this challenging situation. Please share your thoughts in the comments, share the video, and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to turn on your notification bell to stay updated. Thank you for watching. May Allah be pleased with you.